Hey guys, um, this is not the video I was intending to work on today, or maybe even put up today or tomorrow. Um, but it just so happened that this morning I got an email from a guy I had emailed uh, the night prior about the PVM, uh, the one on the left, and uh, I went and I, he was literally like 15 minutes down the road from me, uh, it was for a very reasonable price, I went and picked it up, and so that's what I want to do this video on. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the, this one right here is the one I just picked up, and this is a PVM, this is a 1054Q. Now, uh, the prior one, I did a video on it, is this little one, and this was a uh, PVM14L5. And the main reason I really wanted this one here, um, it comes down to size. I, I just, I, I, that monitor is great. That's a great uh, PVM. But in my opinion, uh, 14 inch was just, it was just a little bit too small for me. It didn't bother me too much, because I'm used to doing a lot of retro computing. Um, you know, some of those monitors are pretty small. Uh, even just regular computer monitors were never, you know, big compared to, you know, TVs or if you're console gaming. But I wanted something a little bit better. And this one right here really fits the bill. This is uh, 19 inches. Um, so it, for me, personally, it hits a sweet spot where it starts to feel more like a television and kind of less like a monitor. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit more nostalgic because this is about the size uh, I played video game consoles on growing up, about this size screen. And the other thing is, it, this thing's heavy, um, but it's only about 65, 70 pounds. So I'm not a strong guy and I can move this on my own. And anything bigger than this, I'd probably need help or I'd probably hurt myself. Uh, so this is just, it's big enough where it feels right. Um, and it's small enough that I can actually move it. And if it comes to like moving time, it's not like, oh my God, I have to hire like five bodybuilders to move my television or my monitors. Um, so for me, it hits a sweet spot. Um, I I really like this monitor. I mean, I I got it back and I I did test it on RGB through the PS2 and it looks great. Uh, it just looks fantastic. Um, uh, there are differences between these other than size. Um, this one does it does higher resolution. This does uh, actually this does progressive scan. It does 40p. I think it's 720p and 1080i. Unfortunately, this one does not do progressive scan. That's not surprising. Um, most PVMs do not do progressive scan, so that's not surprising at all. Um, case on this is a little bit more dinged up. You gotta expect that with the age of these things. Um, this was made in 96, I believe, and this one was 2000 something. So this one is older, but uh, it's, I always like getting the story behind these. And apparently this was a rental. Uh, the guy that sold this to me said, he worked at a broadcast rental facility, uh, so I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. It might, I mean, that might be why the case is dinged up, because it got moved around a lot, but being a rental means it could have spent a lot of time sitting on a shelf waiting for someone to rent it. It, it probably wasn't actually necessarily in a studio being used all the time. Um, he said he bought it about eight years ago or so when they were getting rid of all their PVMs, and he hasn't really used it. He said it's just kind of sat on his shelf for, you know, the past eight years. Um, but just hooking it up and playing on a little bit, the picture is really good. It's, it's great. Um, there's some other things I kind of like about this one. On this one, it's like, a, it's an all digital menu. Um, you power in, you hit this button, you get, you know, screen options and you press them. Um, I kind of like how this one actually has some knobs. So you don't have to mess around, um, you know, with digital buttons on set. You can just turn some knobs to get some fine adjusting. Um, and also you can just hit buttons to select, you know, component, or yeah, there's a component, um, you know, composite, one, two, S video, you can do that all with just quick button press. You don't have to play around with, uh, menus. So, um, let me take the thing off here. Let me get you uh, a better look at this thing. Whoop. All right. So here's just a little bit of a better look at the front. You know, you got your power volume. Yeah. This has a speaker in it. Um, I think this is really uncommon in PVMs. They usually don't have a speaker. Uh, it's kind of small and it is mono, uh, so keep that in mind. But it, it actually surprisingly sounds better than you think. Um, you know, I mean, the big the big downside is it is mono, uh, but it's actually kind of loud. It, it, it didn't sound, um, 
you know, really small. It actually sounded half decent. Uh, I'm still probably going to use, a spare, um, you know, a pair of stereo PC speakers, but, you know, it's nice to have if you don't have speakers available or you just want to do testing. But yeah, I mean, you've got your dot contrast, phase, chroma, brightness, aperture. Um, and then you just got these quick buttons. There is a menu uh, you can go into and there's some more options. But yeah, there's there's for selecting your in inputs. Um, you know, under scan, blue only, the gauss button. So, on the back actually looks very similar. Uh-oh, it's a little dark back here. Very similar to the 14 inch I have. Um, pretty much the same. Uh, there isn't a serial remote on it. There's a couple things not on this one. Um, but it does have your basic inputs. You got your power here. Uh, let's see, video. You got two composite lines in and out. Um, and audio. And down here you have RGB component. So this does component as well, which is a nice feature. Um, I had an older one, and it was a 20 inch, uh, but it was older, I think it was from the 80s. And it did RGB, it didn't do it through BCN, it, uh, BNC, it did it through like a computer looking thing. But it didn't do component, uh, just RGB. So that's nice and let you know, if you wanna hook up a Wii or something like that, or something newer, um, it's cool that it does component. It doesn't do 480p, as I said, uh, unfortunately, but that's kind of be expected. Many of these do not do progressive scan um, 480 and up. But yeah, it does uh, RGB. I, I use the same cables as that, same exact cables. Um, so that really helps. It's very convenient. Remote, it's probably for, you know, obviously some kind of remote. But yeah, and uh, of course S video. And then that's that's really about it. It's, it's actually very simple uh, on the back, but it, it has all the stuff I want or need. Uh, most of the connections, you know, your average retro gamer would really want to, RGB being the key. Um, so I'm gonna hook this thing up and uh, I'll probably conclude the video with just kind of looking at it uh, working. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get the really get it's the glory of the image uh, through this camera, but uh, just to show you it's working, um, maybe hear that speaker on it. All right. So I have it uh, pretty much where I had the previous uh, PVM. Um, it barely fits on the stand here. Um, this really isn't an ideal spot. Uh, it's in the corner, you know, up against the wall. Um, the bed's right there, so I can kind of lay down and look at it. It's, it sometimes it's awkward, but uh, I'm working with limited space here, and I didn't really want to uh, get rid of the Samsung HD CRT just yet. Um, <laughs> although, honestly, now that I have this, uh, with a nice 19 inch screen. This is probably going to be relegated to just Wii um, just because it does 480p and um, this TV does uh, does Wii and GameCube's 480p stuff really well for whatever reason. But um, So uh, right now I just have the PS2 hooked up and I'm just going to show you real quick uh, the game I have in here uh, Dissigia, Dissigia, I don't know how to pronounce it, but from what I played, it's a great game. I like uh, RPGs and strategy RPGs. And the weird thing is this game um, didn't play correctly on this Samsung. Uh, it just didn't. It was weird. Um, it was kind of like choppy. I, I don't know if that TV, it's just because it's HD, it can't handle 480p through the PS2. I don't know why, um, but this it runs great. So let me just, so there's the, the doom, the, that's the degauss. Um, as far as I know, Trinitron, Sony Trinitrons, they always, they have automatic degauss when you um, start them up. So I have it set up, it says no sync now, but I have it set up to RGB. And I'm, I'm gonna have the PC speakers up here as sound, so I get stereo sound and it's a little better, but uh, I have it hooked up right now through the uh, speaker in the PVM. So, it says RGB. So that is the speaker. Um, let me see. Turn it up. I don't know, there's like lines. I don't really like that. Um, I don't know what's going on for sure, but once the game starts, the picture looks really good. It might just take some adjusting. Um, it kind of worried me, but they dis once the game's going, sort of disappears. It's, 
I always forget how slow the PS2 is. <laughs> um. Yeah, so... Actually, they're still there. Aha! See that? It's... I think it's some kind of interference. Look. When I move the PS2 away, it clears up. It's beautiful. But when I lower the PS2 onto it, um, I get the lines. So there must be some kind of interference going on. But at least I know it's not this, it's not the monitor. I just have to separate these uh, a little bit more. But yeah, that picture, it's probably, it's hard to see through this camera. This isn't even the best, you know, camera. It's a cheapo. But it's just, it's just a really good picture. I'm really happy with this monitor. Yeah, but that's, that's the, I mean, the volume, the speaker on this thing isn't that horrible. Uh, it's only mono, but it's really not that bad. So, yeah. But anyways, yeah, so, um, that's that. That's the PBM, uh, whatever model number it was. <laughs> but yeah. I'm really happy with this thing. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, I really, oh, sorry, I really highly recommend getting a PVM. Um, like I said, the 14 incher I had is a good, good picture, great monitor, but in my opinion, it's just a little bit too small. Um, so I really recommend getting something like this that's, uh, you know, a 19 inch, around 19, 20 inch, um, preferably with component as well as BNC. Um, RGB. It seems to be a little harder to get the connector for the ones that kind of almost looks like a VGA. I think that's the older style. Uh, sync on green uh, RGB that some of the older PVMs use. Um, I had to get a cable like that really custom made. But anyways, yeah. Um, thank you for watching.